All right, now we're, Sherry's going to show us how she's going to make one of her daughters who is a pescatarian, meaning pescatarian. she doesn't. Pescatarian. Yeah, so she doesn't eat meat, but she does eat fish. So. And she eats eggs? Yes. So she's not vegan. Okay. She's a vegetarian slash pescatarian, so she does eat seafood. Um, so we could have put some seafood in them cowgirl beans. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Maybe. I don't know how that would taste though. I don't know. I'll mention some cod yeah, or cod, something. Cod would be good. Definitely not yeah. salmon. Salmon's I mean, a little too robust for that, yeah. I think. I think. Okay, so Sherry, right here we got us a slab, slab of sockeye salmon, fresh caught. Uh, looks like you have some lemon, some rosemary, some butter, and some uh, island seasoning. Yes. Um, tell us what you're going to do. So I already have um, laid this out on some foil. I'm going to cook it on the grill. Um, so I don't personally like to put my seafood directly on the grill, even though this does have the skin. He does. This has the skin attached still. So, um, so once I cook it in the, in the foil, um, with the butter and everything, it actually will peel right off um, at serving. So um, I personally um, love Kerrygold butter. My kids are kind of um, butter snobs. So <laughs> the Kerrygold um, Irish butter is pretty amazing on this. Brit, on the other hand, uses olive oil, right? When you do yours. I want to say I'm going to use olive oil 99% okay. of the time. Very good. So um, I'm just gonna cut some packs of the butter and um, place it onto the salmon. And I'm assuming Britt probably seasons his uh, salmon first before putting the uh, the butter on or the olive oil. Um, I would I would put the I would rub it with olive oil mm -hmm. and then sprinkle it with the uh, island rub. Okay. On the salmon, I'd cover it. I'd probably just take this and go just like this and get out of your way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here, give me some more. Say? You want some more? Yeah. Uh, well, just because I don't have the shaker on this, this is like my big massive container. I don't know, I don't know why I did this. This is my thing. big massive container. So, um, that was for some reason my, uh, my bottler like, didn't put on a handful of them, didn't put shaker tops. Yeah. You know, it was like he ran out or something. Well, the uh, upside to, for you, not having the shaker top is we overuse. Well, and not I'm really. And I'm drop this in the trash. Not really, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just fooling with you. I, okay. mean, my, 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 I have a friend who, who sells other seasonings and, you know, he likes, that would be totally covered solid with it. Yeah. And, you know, I sometimes cover the salmon solid with it. And it's, you know, basically the item rub was made for salmon. So it's a perfect combination. Yes. And actually when I do my pork, um, I use the bold and spicy and I rub the pork. I mean, it is caked full of the spices and then I'll brown it in um, a cast iron skillet and then broil it before putting it into the crock pot to slow cook. Um, I'm not fortunate like my brother-in-law with a smoker. Um, We're working I, on that. And I have my gas grill. So, you know, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So, um, I've already sliced my lemon and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the ends and um, just kind of squeeze this across the salmon. I was telling Sherry earlier that, you know, before long, I'll have banana leaves and I always like to take my salmon and wrap it in banana leaves versus foil. If I'm mm -hmm. not, if I'm going to cook it for a long period of time on the smoker or something, kind of gives it a little more flavor. Uh, it's an interesting concept and it's really fun when you got a bunch of people around who's going to enjoy the salmon because they've never seen it before. So yeah. if you grow banana leaves, it's something you can think about. Absolutely, and you know, it's fun to have a different kind of spin and on um, presentation. Oh, yeah, so, it's a ball. Uh, I, I, and that's why we're here today because she just amazes me with the pictures she posts on her on, on different Facebook pages and the uh, thing. And so I asked her if we could come out and do this video this week. <laughs> so here we are. Yes, so now I'm just gonna lay. Um, some... And she is a Weatherby, so it is still officially the world of Weatherby. Absolutely, yes. All right, and then I um, pulled some rosemary out of my garden. Um, you know, you can 
chop this up if you want. I personally just peel it right off and place it on there just for aromatics and flavor um, for the salmon. So. Just cover it. Yes. You know, you, you've got to open up your taste buds and that means you need to use plenty of seasonings. Whether they're mine or not, it just, you'll be much more happier when you know that when you bite into something, you're gonna taste robust flavors. Yes. It's awesome. I personally am not that less is best kind of girl. I go all in with seasoning and that's how I've raised my kids, you know. Um, even, you know, raising them up from little ones um, up to being the ages that they're at, they are now, they actually appreciate this kind of food. And when they go out to eat, they're dissatisfied because right. a lot of times what they're eating is just bland processed foods. Um, my kids actually appreciate fresh food um, that is heavily seasoned and full of flavor. So, um, so from here, we're just going to go ahead and wrap, wrap her up. And... I will put it on the grill with the skin down on the grill and um, I'll check on it, but traditionally it's a good 10 to 15 minutes on the grill, not on high. Um, but like Britt was, we were having a conversation earlier, you can actually do this in the, in the oven. You don't have to do it on the grill, but we've got the grill going. Yeah, put it in the oven, 325, 350 for 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I want to say that probably the temp you would want to reach if you have a thermometer you stick in it would be 135 uh, and that's basically you want to take it out right then you don't want it in there any longer because if it starts to climb up into the 140 range it's going to get really dry on you yeah. and once you pull it out of the oven i mean you have to keep in mind that it's still cooking so you're gonna let the meat rest before you actually serve it. So it's gonna to continue to cook and the temperature right. is gonna to continue to climb. And any moisture that's in this package, will the meat will actually actually uh, absorb it. Yes. Uh, so gotta keep your fish moist. So you don't wanna unwrap it as soon as you bring it in. You want it to rest in that wrapping. Yes. All right. All right. So we should have dinner here All soon. Right. We're gonna go check them ribs. Check them ribs. All right.